So welcome back to the channel Montel Gordon here and in today's video we're actually going to be talking about the top three dental marketing mistakes I keep seeing especially when it comes to Facebook ads so without any further ado we're going to jump into my computer where I've prepared a couple of slides just to help you guys visualize and see what I'm talking about so I hope you enjoyed the presentation without any further ado let's jump into my computer so welcome to my computer and welcome to this presentation where I'll be going over the top three dental marketing mistakes especially when it comes to Facebook advertising that I keep seeing time and time again so if you actually if you guys actually stay to the end there's actually a bonus tip that if implemented correctly into your dental practice or to your dental um, clients practice that I believe will actually skyrocket the business um, make them go viral and pull in an extra five to six to maybe even seven figures a month like that's how powerful it is so stay to the end for the bonus tip because that one is a really good one so jumping into the mistakes first of all i always see bad offers such as free consultations or still say something like half price off of invisalign only 1500 pounds um, we'll get into reasons why these are bad in a second but i'm just reading them off real quick then we're going to jump into them um, in more depth and number two is they have no sales funnel or back-end system um, pro sales system in place such as a value ladder now again as, like I said we're gonna get into these each and every one in depth and number three they're not utilizing the Facebook pixel to their advantage so number one the weak offer which is a free consultation now don't get me wrong free consultations can still work it's just that right now they have no pop to them everybody seems to be using them and if you run them for your dental marketing you've got no de differentiation whatsoever there's nothing that's special about you know about you everybody literally runs the free consultation offer it's literally the go-to offer that everybody does plus in most cases it's not really an offer because like some dentists a lot of them in fact actually just give free consultations out anyway I um, mean I still was able to get results with it and I kind of went over that in the last video on dental marketing. And if you haven't checked that out, I will leave the link in the description somewhere. But to me, this certainly isn't a good offer. And that's sure just surely because it has a low perceived value. It's not got any like punch or impact to it. It's just really weak and really played out. So moving on, we actually have the big commitment offer. Now, this is where I've seen a dental practice run an ad for Invisalign that offers like a 50% discount so it's like 3000 for the full package but then like it's cut in half so it's like 1500 pounds now to try and sell 1500 pounds online to a cold audience is literally the equivalent of cold knocking or cold calling somebody and asking them for 1500 pounds no trust has been established they don't know your name they've never seen you before and it's not a really good way to go about it there's just no trust being established they don't know who you are like I said and realistically when it comes to high ticket products or services such as this a sales process is actually required you need to warm up the audience first um, get top of mind awareness or at least have some sort of um, value ladder you can take them up through which I'll be diving into um, later on in, in this video so the big commitment offer the only 1500 pound offer has very 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 low conversion rates because you are targeting such a high price to such a cold audience or cold traffic if you are going to run an offer like this primarily you'd want to run an offer like this to an already warm audience unless you just want to waste your money and throw money away on a cold audience that's just not converting so better offers that I would actually suggest to you guys is a free or heavily discounted teeth whitening or a free teeth cleaning. Now, I know what you're probably saying, free teeth whitening, you actually must be insane. That's way too expensive. It's gonna put us at a deficit, but that's because you guys probably have no backend system set up in place. And this is kind of what my face is doing at the moment because I've seen this time and time again. So let me explain what a backend system is and why the biggest companies in the world such as McDonald's actually know that they have to spend money in order to acquire a new customer and that's the most important and most expensive bit of having a business and, and, and running 
um, some sort of advertising, Facebook ads, um, Google ads and stuff like that. So McDonald's actually know that, and they've actually worked out this, that on average they spend around £2 um, to acquire a new customer, a new customer for a 99 or £1 cheeseburger. We'll just round it up and say £1 cheeseburger. So that would actually leave McDonald's at a deficit of £1 per new customer. Now, I know you're probably thinking they would only be £1 down per customer. We would be £700 down or £500 or £250, £250 down, however much your teeth whitening is. However, when you multiply how many customers McDonald's attracts into their restaurants a day, it would actually look like on paper, on the front end, that they're actually losing millions and millions of pounds each and every day. However, McDonald's know and I've taught all their staff to basically ask you, basically upsell you. They always tell, teach their staff to ask you whether you want fries and a drink with your meal, making them one of the most profitable companies on the earth. So with that being said, what does your backend system look like? Do you have a low ticket offer, such as a heavily discounted teeth whitening? Can you take somebody up a value ladder? Do you even know what a value ladder looks like? So I'm gonna be breaking this down and um, teaching you how you can actually make giving away free teeth whitening profitable. So how you make it profitable is by basically replicating McDonald's system or just any backend system for that matter. This is what you call a value ladder. It's quite popular amongst digital marketing and selling stuff online, selling stuff in, in business in general. So what's happening here is basically the lower the perceived value is, the lower the price is. So for example, you have free teeth cleaning, that's a low perceived value, but it can bring people in at a relatively cheap price. It's kind of getting played out now because everyone kind of knows that. Whereas I suggest we start at a free teeth, teeth whitening or a heavily discount of teeth whitening. In the marketing realm, there's actually a, a new strategy going around where basically, let's say you know that your average cost per new lead is uh, 50 pounds. You would price your teeth whitening at 50 pounds um, to get them in because that would be a high perceived value because they actually um, know that your teeth whitening is probably like two, 250 pounds plus or something like that on average. So that would be a beautiful offer to give because it has a, it has a nice punch to it and um, it will actually liquidate the offer. So you wouldn't actually be making profit, but you wouldn't be losing any money neither. You'd actually be breaking even on a new customer. So if you can actually gain a customer without losing too much money on the front end, that is really, really excellent because we could be extremely profitable from then on. So, so let's imagine we do lose a little bit of money on the front end. But here's how we make it up in the back end. We have other treatments we offer to them. So for example, let's say someone comes in to redeem their free teeth cleaning. We could actually then notice, so for example, when the patient's actually in the chair, we could actually upsell them and say, hey, I've just realized that you, you kind of need some teeth whitening going on. I'd suggest teeth whitening. Then because you are a trusted advisor and if you do a good job on the teeth cleaning, they are more than likely to take your teeth whitening than if they was just to buy the teeth whitening out front because you've already established that trust and you've actually provided value to them first. So the same can be done for teeth whitening or heavily discounted teeth whitening. So what you could do is bring people in on a teeth whitening at like 50 to even no, no cost at all. And of course you're gonna be down on the front end, but you can make the money back on the back end. So you can actually offer like you did, like I just suggested before, um, other treatments, other more expensive treatments. You, maybe you can see that, oh, they need some sort of implants or crown or um, something like that done. You can then suggest that to them and they're more than likely going to take that if they are in the financial position to actually afford that. And that's how you kind of make it profitable. You take them through this value la ladder and move them up the value ladder. And as you move them up the value ladder, the price of your treatments increases. And that's how you keep bringing customers back and making as much money per one customer as possible. Um, so that's kind of how you make free teeth whitening possible. Um, now I just put this on here as a, as a joke, but if you actually think of it in the long term, let's say, three years from now, you get someone in on free teeth whitening, that may be a 250 pound hit or 300 pound, 400 pound, 500 pound hit. But over the period of one to two to three or however long you on average keep a dental patient for, 
you will make more than that, way more than that on the back end. So it's kind of like a long-term play here. We're trying to build long-term profitable businesses here, not just a quick book. We're not just trying to make a quick book. So mistake number 2.5, which is basically number two, but I actually split this into two parts. So I've seen time and time again, people or dental practices will be running good looking ads. Don't get me wrong, the ads are actually looking good, good offer, but they drive the traffic straight to the homepage of their website. Now, driving traffic to your website is very, very bad because think about it, there's actually lots of on-screen distraction, distractions. Look at this, there's a menu bar, there's information all over the place, buttons all over the place. Um, people can get lost and there's significantly lower conversion rates because of all these factors. I believe that the average website converts around 1%, 2% being like really, really good, but I've seen funnels convert at around 15% and 30% in even in some cases, um, which is amazing. Now, another point is websites aren't solely optimized for lead generation. There's no book now button like placed. Um, like I said, there's lots of on-screen distractions. People can get lost, menu bars, pictures everywhere, stuff like that. So driving traffic to your homepage or your website is really bad. You need to be driving it to a funnel that kind of looks something like this. So as you can see, it's a clear page. There's not much information on it. There's an engaging background. We actually use video background in um, my agency because it's a bit more engaging than um, just a still background. So as you can see on this page, there's z like literally zero distractions. It gets straight to the point. Um, there's only like two actions that can actually be taken on this page, which is one, either enter your details, two, you can just leave. So this is why landing pages convert so much better than normal websites. So mistake number three, and I have literally been through thousands of dental websites across the UK, um, ranging from cities such as Manchester, London, Leeds, Sheffield, all over the place. I've seen time and time again, nobody is using or maybe a handful of people are using the Facebook pixel. Now, a Facebook pixel is basically a tracking code that lives on your website or your funnel, and it basically can, can track actions and can track conversion data. So for example, if somebody lands on your website and then clicks onto the book now page, we can actually track that person has actually landed on that specific page, meaning they are a little bit further and a little bit more interested in your services because they've actually checked out the book now page um, indicating that they may be a little bit more interested so we can then retarget with that retarget re those people and bring them back to make a booking if they don't make a booking that's another thing we can actually isolate all the people that have not made a booking to the people who have made a booking to only show ads to the people that need to come back and make a booking so that the people who already have a booking with you or have already booked something with you don't actually get shown this retargeting ad because of course that would be quite annoying if they've already booked and you're still telling them to come back and book kind of it kind of not relevant to them so that's the sort of stuff Facebook pixel allows you to do it also allows you to track how long somebody's been on your website for so that's really powerful because it shows that they are at a high level of interest at that point so for example if somebody comes to your website and bounces and leaves, AKA leaves within like two seconds, we know that that person probably isn't interested because they didn't even give the time of day to even just read through a little bit. Whereas if someone stays on your website for like a couple of minutes and actually digest what you have to say in, in, a, on your page for a little, a little while, we can actually retarget those people, um, which would actually be a good idea because those people would be warm to the idea because they've actually took the time out of their day to read and digest the contents on your web page or your funnel or whatever it might be. Um, so without the Facebook pixel, you, can, you can't actually retarget as effectively as I've just kind of bro broken down and demoed for you real quick. So another point is that you can't create lookalike audiences. Now, a lookalike audience is basically, you can actually tell Facebook, hey, so-and-so have certain characteristics, they've made a booking with me, now can you find me an audience that have similar characteristics to these people 
So you can actually have an audience of people that are booked with you, like I said, and and, or, and then tell Facebook, can you bring me an audience that look like these people that I've made a booking? And that's really powerful because it can basically pull people in that you have no affiliation with, they've not seen you before, but they actually have the same characteristics as the people that have made a booking with you. And so it, incre it slightly increases the chances it significantly increases the chances, in fact, of them becoming a new patient of yours or making a booking with you. And without a pixel, you can't really, you, you can't actually do this. I've not found a way to do this yet um, without a pixel. And the last point, number four point, the fourth point is that you are wasting a lot of money if you don't have a Facebook pixel installed on your dental website or funnel, simply because retargeting ads are the most profitable ads there are to date. And without re without the pixel install, you can't really re uh, uh, you, like I said, you can't retarget as effectively. So, for example, if somebody actually was interested in your services, or your treatments, um, or your cosmetic dentistry, or whatever it is you're offering, but they are genuinely distracted at the moment, like something happens in their house, or so for example, like the baby starts to cry or something, they turn their heads and they kind of forget your website. You can't then bring that person back that was actually interested in your stuff, but with a pixel, you can actually do that. You can actually bring that person that was interested in, but just got distracted by life's distractions, I guess, that's just natural in life. You, can't, you can actually bring that person back with the Facebook pixel and show them, hey, I noticed that you've been on my website or I've seen that you checked us out. If you're still interested, please go ahead and make a booking, something like that. You can actually show them a specific ad. So bonus tip, I have noticed that literally no one is using video advertising for their dental marketing or dental practice. Now, video is way more effective than image ads. It just converts way better. It's more engaging, more personal. And it's actually cheaper. Facebook is right now is actually encouraging people to use video ads because it wants to be more of a video type of platform. Not only that, it's cheaper and it's more profitable. The click through rates are better because the engagement's better. People actually take time out of their day to actually watch a video. And the best thing is you can actually use retargeting wizardry. This is absolutely beautiful and powerful stuff here. Basically, what this allows you to do is, that's just a little word, a little phrase I came up with, but what you can actually do is retarget all the people that have actually taken the time out of their day to watch more than like 50% of your video. So for example, you run a video ad, just explaining when you got into dentistry and what your dental practice offers, why you're different from other dental practices. What you can do is retarget the people who watch more than 30 seconds of that one minute clip, meaning they actually stopped on Facebook and watched a video. Now, I'm not too sure if you've noticed, but people do not stop these days on Facebook to notice anything unless they are genuinely interested. So if you can retarget those people who have actually watched your, your video, then you're gonna have a really warm audience to market to, increasing the chances of them actually clicking your ads and making some sort of booking or commitment with you, and then inevitably becoming a new patient of yours. So that is the bonus tip that I believe will separate you from the rest of the dental practices out there and the dental businesses out there and dental clinics out there, because this is going to really, really differentiate you and put you in a league of your own because literally nobody else is doing this sort of stuff. So I actually believe it will put you in a league of your own so far ahead that it wouldn't even be funny. So I do highly, highly, highly suggest you actually take a real consideration into using video ads to grow your practice or your client's practice. So that's all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you back on camera. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope that you really enjoyed it and enjoyed the presentation that I put together. I hope that you can actually take some sort of insight from this and value from this and actually implement this into your own business. Now, if you're a dentist or you own a dental practice and you need help implementing Facebook marketing into your dental practice, or if you're just genuinely struggling with your dental marketing, please, please, please leave me a comment or if you want more information or an in-depth view on what I can actually do for you, I've actually created a free case study video that is actually linked in my description. Just click the link and it will take you to a page where you can actually watch an in-depth Facebook dental marketing 
um, case study video. Now, if this is something that you are really interested in or really struggling with or need help with, there's actually a book call button below the video after you've watched the video case study. Go ahead and click that button, fill out an application. Please make sure you fill it out in detail because those applications that aren't filled out in detail will be cancelled. And if I think you're a good fit, where we will then hop on a call and we can discuss whether or not my systems would be well implemented into your business and if it makes sense to do so. Um, so on the call, we'll actually be diagnosing, troubleshooting and problem solving some of your problems and rectifying how we can actually fix that. And then at the end of the call, if I think you're a good fit, I will extend an invitation to you to work with me over a 90 day period for my 90 day paid traffic program, which is basically a 90 day program where you get to work with me one on one and I get to help you um, with your dental marketing, running ad campaigns for you, setting up your funnels, all that good stuff. So like I said, the link is in my description if you guys want to check out an in-depth case study video. But for now, that's all for today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.